This is Sagittarius B2, and it's doing something that makes no sense. NASA says this one cloud holds about 10% of the gas in the Milky Way's galactic center, yet it produces about 50% of its stars. So how can a small slice of gas act like a star factory? First, what you're looking at isn't a normal neighborhood. Sagittarius B2 sits only a few hundred light years from Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole at our galaxy's center. And NASA describes SGRB2 as the most massive and active star-forming region in the Milky Way. Now here's the trick. The dark, parts and Webb's images aren't empty space. They're so packed with gas and dust that even Webb can't see through them. So the nursery is there, it's just buried. And this is where Webb gets unfair. Switch instruments, and the whole story changes. In near-infrared, with NIR cam, stars dominate the scene. But in mid-infrared, with Miri, glowing dust and gas stand out, and most stars fade away. In the Miri view, you're seeing dust that's glowing because it's being heated by extremely young, massive stars, details Webb can pick out in a way we couldn't before. And look at the reddest area on the right side of the Miri image, Sagittarius B2 North. NASA describes it as one of the most molecularly rich regions known. Translation, it's loaded with the raw ingredients that can build complex chemistry and eventually more stars. Here's what makes the paradox even sharper. NASA says the galactic center has lots of raw gas overall, but star formation there is disproportionately low compared to what's happening inside SGRB2. So SGRB2 isn't just forming stars, it's forming them in a place where star formation usually underperforms. And the honest answer to why is it so efficient is we don't fully know yet. That's the point. Webb is helping scientists map what's hidden, compare what different wavelengths reveal, and push this mystery into measurable questions. If you love mind-bending science, subscribe to SciBite Insights for more.